cost money. This is America. <laughs> Nothing is free over here. <laughs> when I, they, they pick me up. I smell nice. I look nice. So uh -huh. That's I attract them. So they have to maintain me. When you buy a car, if you don't put gas in it, it can't go nowhere. <laughs> so you are a car. I have to compare myself with that. Men like cars. <laughs> so your guess is money. Yeah, you have to maintain me. You have to see after me. take this off hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel Cheval but here live from colorado springs colorado the location will always be the same uh, depending if i move around so but hey i think that's not my intro so so yeah it is what it is hope everyone is good i know i know i know i've been gone for a while so what, what has it been it's been it's been like three weeks now, right? But I think the the fact that I post like an hour long videos kind of make it up for me post uh, taking so long to post. But I did say also I that, say that I'll post uh, probably after three weeks. Sometimes, sometimes I'll put up after I'll put up a vlog every week. So, so just depending on how busy uh, work is for me and how how my schedule is and my schedule now it's a. Uh, I don't know. It was supposed to be a little bit easier, but I think it's just gotten it got worse. Cause it just feel like take me back where I come from, you know. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, but I was supposed to record last week and I didn't. Uh, I had everything planned out and I had David do a thumbnail for me already. But I don't know. I just didn't want to do it. My moods have just been all over. Oh, and it's it's a it's a Thursday morning. I just got a haircut from Erica. It's exactly. 11 20 i just got a haircut from erica we traveling so yeah before that so i haven't been recording because uh my moves have just been all over my emotions i don't know i've just been a miserable guy i've just been so miserable lately i don't know why <laughs> well i think i know why uh because i texted uh obviously uh i communicated everything with my friends i texted david the other day and i told him like oh, you know what I'm not okay, I don't know what's happening. Um, I feel very down, like I'm, I'm just always down. I don't wanna go to work, I just wanna stay in bed. My emotions are all over, I don't know what's happening. And he said to me, uh, <laughs> have, you, have you been talking, have you been communicating with your ex? And I'm like, yep, that's where all of this comes from. <laughs> And also, we're not judging each other, okay? We're not judging each other. We're not doing that. We're not doing that, okay? So I've been in communication with my ex, my ex, and we, I think we chat almost every day, but I've stopped. I think we, we were chatting like every day, checking up on each other, uh, how are you doing, all of that, you know? Uh, and I thought we could be civil with each other. Well, we both thought we can try to be civil with each other. Because one thing about me, I, I don't want to be a better ex. I'm not a better ex. I, I don't want none of that. Next thing I meet up with you in the mall and I'm all better, pulling faces. I don't want that. Hence why I try to stay in contact, not try, I stay in contact with my exes. Um, but not, you know, not chat every day, but every now and then we just check up on each other, you know. Um, Understanding, oh, also we adults, you know, we adults, and it ended years. It was nice years. You, 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 you disappointed me years, but life has to go on, you know. So we thought we could be civil with each other, but I just feel like with me, I can't, especially with him, I can't be civil with him. And I, well, I can be civil with him, but I, do, I wanna uh, lose all communication because uh, uh, I think, I think it's, I don't know. <laughs> 
no matter how many times he apologizes <laughs> no matter how many how many times he apologizes i it still hurts you know so and also having him uh in contact with me in a way uh makes me probably miss the old how it be how things used to be do you understand uh so i i, I realized my moods have been off lately because of uh me being in communication with him but i've stopped that i uh, i've stopped that and hopefully i stop completely uh, so yeah but but i'm okay now <laughs> I'm good now and I'm traveling with the girls. We're going out, we're going out of town for two days and uh, I'm pretty excited. I think we're going to have a really, really good time. We, we are attending uh, what they call the Bridgerton Experience in Denver. Uh, if you've watched a series, there's a series on Netflix called The Bridgerton. I'm pretty excited about this. So we get to dress up like the characters we like. And I'm dressing up as the Duke. <laughs> I'm going to try to practice his walk. He's talking and I'm just like, nothing is giving, but I think we should be good. My outfit, love it. So I'm pretty excited. And the ladies that I'm leaving with, my friends, um, put so much effort also in looking like looking like the characters, the characters that they chose. And I'm just like, wow, this is beautiful. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, we're traveling. It's me, it's Kobeka. It's uh, Sexy Nassar. <laughs> She's a lady from the Caribbean, a friend. Uh, she every time she sees me, <laughs> every time she's every time we see each other, we always like. I'm like sexiness. Hello, sexy. <laughs> so cute. She thinks I'm really sexy. So so yeah. It's Nassar. It's Salumeti. Masadi alo soto hai. And we leave it with Mpumi, the biggest Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> we leave him with Pumi also, and we have Isaura. Isa, but Isa is in Mexico. She went to she went on vacation to visit uh, the boyfriend, the fiance. So she's been gone for like ten days. So she's flying in today, and she's gonna meet us in Denver. So excited to meet her. So excited to have her back. I can't wait for her to tell me how everything unfolded and how Mexico was. I told her, I'm like, you better come back pregnant, boo. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think we're going to have a really, really, really good time. I haven't packed, but I've picked out, I've picked my outfits already. I'm just going to quickly pack and I'm leaving with my ring light because content is life. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think we're going to have a really, really, really good time. So yeah. Oh, also, Ajay just made my morning. Some guy just made my morning and offered to pay for my haircut. I'm like, oh, okay. This can only mean one thing, okay? That we still got it. Take a look at me. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty excited for this. So, yeah, I'm going to record everything for you guys. I'm guessing it will be So, yeah. And also, another thing also why I haven't been recording. I've been broke. Uh, uh, well, because I remember the last... My the last uh, video I had planned I was gonna cook for you guys and I couldn't because my last paycheck I got it and all all that I got went into my stock cells and I was broke I was like okay this is crazy so one thing about me I'm an impulsive spender like me I see money I spend it to me obviously I'll save a bit and you know but I I eat uh, and money that I ha I worked hard for blow it i i blow it i blow it something like I, I blew it you know so i got paid and all my money went to my stock files and i'm like i don't even have money now to to what to get stuff ingredients and all of that and i'm like oh, we can do it some other time so let me tell you a little bit about the stock files so i got here and um i remember a few weeks after we got here i'm like you know what i think we need to start a stock fill. And we started as little as hundred dollars. I'm like our first paycheck. We all gonna cut for hundred dollars and give one person. I don't know what you guys call it. I remember I asked Claudia what they call it in, call it in America, and I forgot what she said. But people have a, have different names for it. Where I'm from, it, we call it stock fell. So what we do is, the first round we all take out take out an amount and then we give that person. Let's say it's ten of us. Take out an amount and give one person. The next paycheck, same thing. 
all of all of us take out hundred dollars and give it to the next person you know so in a way it's mainly the only reason people have stock fills is to save you know and for me that's something that i grew up with uh while growing up we have there was only one salary in the house which is my dad's and these four four kids and we all had to go to school especially after varsity you know it was a little bit hard so what my mom would do is every every month she would take money off my dad's uh salary and put it into a stock fill and then the following year january when she gets money she would either get it december or beginning of january that's when her stock fell would pay her off so that would be enough money for her to pay a deposit for for varsity and f to probably pay a deposit on on accommodation also you know get you started off on, on school and probably pay off a few months of school you know of varsity for you so that's what she did and do that she she would do that every year and obviously uh when she gets again she pays a huge sum into your studies the next year same thing and what we would what she would do is we would have to wait for one person to get done with school and then you can go i remember my older brother got done with school and then i went and then after i went four years after i went i took four years after i went my twin brother had to wait for me had to wait so that i get done so that he can go to school so i got done after the four years and then he he could go to school but i think he they managed to take him to school uh three years with me three years in varsity you know so it was my last year I was like okay cool yeah we might have enough money to take him also you know so for me that's how how i was brought up and i'm like okay this is the only way my mother managed to save money and this is the only way she has taught she has taught me to save money and this is the only way i'll do it because now if i say i'm gonna save it myself let's say i get paid a thousand dollars okay i'm gonna save 500 put it into my savings i'm not gonna do that some people say just save two you know so at least if it's all going into stock fails and when the stock fails pay off uh they because i gave them my account numbers when they pay off it goes straight into my uh account numbers and already save my my savings account and i you know it's safe you know? so yeah so that's why i'm always broke most of the time i had i had a 300 dollar stock fill 500 dollar stock fill 200 dollar stock fill and a few others i forgot there was a lot there was like eight in the us and back in south africa i have 10k 30k um about six you know <laughs> so it's a lot but now because the hotel is getting a little bit slow and our paycheck is not the same anymore i have uh cut down all my stock fills. i'm only probably sitting on two stock fills in the us which is good uh, but the ones in in south africa i'm gonna keep you know because it's in rent so it's not as bad so yeah that's how i've managed to save money and i feel like if you have a problem saving money also you could do the same gather a few friends around and have a discussion this is how much we're taking next month we've given this person the next month we're giving that person you know it works easily let me see if i let me see if i can find one that i started uh yeah let's see if i can go back up to my chat and see oh yeah this one I, it's it's only sa guys south african guys and it's like 2.5 so when i started it i started a group and i say i told them like okay first obviously i greeted like i've already discussed this little plan of ours with y'all so we all good to go now the first person gets month end and every month we give someone you know till month end november so this started around june i think so 2.5 2 2500 2, rand is damaged let's rock and roll okay from one to five pick a number and then everyone will receive money according to the desired number so if you pick number one you're the first to get if you pick number four you're the fourth person to get and then that's how it started i'm like uh every last day to pay pay up is the fifth of the next month because some people you know some people get paid on the first or some people get paid on the 31st or month end but they obviously want to sort out their things before they pay other things so me giving you like five days after getting paid gives you enough time to just you know sort yourself out you know so yeah 
if you probably struggling to save you this is probably something that you also would want to start you know so yeah my tea is getting my tea is getting cold My tea got cold. I talk a lot. Mm. This is Earl Grey. Oh, he's so gorgeous. There's beautiful men here. Let me go say hi. Beautiful. Mudimi and our Bopa Shane. One thing about Mudim, he does the most. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish up my tea and then quickly pack, shower, change, and we leave, eh? Gonna have fun. Before I leave, there's something I wanna share with you guys. Uh, some girl, she used to be a friend. I don't know if we've been friends since primary. I don't remember, but she's been a friend. She was a friend in high school, but I, I don't know till what grade, but I think she was a friend also in primary. I, I don't remember, forgive me. She, she shared something, something on, on Facebook that just made me smile so much. Uh, well, she shared it with me also first in my... She sent me a DM, direct message. And she's like, I, I want to post this, but I, but I don't want to make you uncomfortable. So I had to ask, do you think I can post this? And then I'm like, okay, cool, go ahead. So uh, she's like, hey, Sabrisa, I hope you're well. I would like to post something with the inclusion of your name. Please read and grant me permission. And it says, it made me smile so much. It was the year 2018 when I learned that I had to unlearn everything I thought I knew as far as gender is concerned, right? It was Tipiso Latara who taught me this, a person who lived the truth at a time when it's un at a time when it was uncomfortable. So it always baffled me how a person could be so brave and defy so many norms and just be at such a young age we were 14 years old i don't even remember for me i've been gay i've always been gay we were we were 14 years old and being gay was a taboo and considered rough but my argument at the time was that he was hurting he wasn't hurting anyone he was being himself and was born that way I didn't quite I didn't quite understand, but I felt strongly about everyone having the right to live their lives however they, they deem fit. It was then it was then that I that I learned of the gay community. I didn't know the term LGBTQIA uh, at that time, but I knew there were people around us who just wanted to live their truth without judgment. And since high school Having witnessed how hard some days would be for my classmate, which is me, I vowed to myself that I'll always create and be a I'll always create and be a safe space for the marginalized. Oh, for the marginalized. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It was Tepiso who opened my eyes. It is with the background that I say the following. I will always be an Ellie to the alphabet gang, LGBTQIA community, and all marginalized groups in society. And she shared a name, Alut Continua. Uh, she shared a quote also, she shared like a line, I can't read it, I think it's in France. It's in Spanish, I think it's in Spanish. So yeah, she sent me that and it made me smile so much. I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. Like I always say, people always ask me, uh, have you always been gay? When did you come out? Blah, blah, blah. For me, I just feel like I've, I've always been gay. I remember in grade one... Penny! Is he moving here? Huh? Penny, he you. What do you need? Go back out. You need to understand I have a life without you, okay? Huh? I have a life without you. That doesn't consist you. What do you need? Look. They changed the delivery to 8 p.m. So I'm going to go get the red one. Okay. Is it, are you getting it here? Yeah. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Try calling them. Did, did you try calling them? But how? Because look. It's out. Like about 8 p.m. In the morning they said 1 p.m. But now they changed to 8 p.m. Call, call UPS. Call, I know you can call them. I've called them before. Call them and ask them that you need that delivery ASAP. 
So what must happen now? If the truck, if the truck is somewhere near us, we'll catch an Uber and go get it. No way, no other way. <laughs> so yeah, for me, I'm so sorry for that. So for me, I've just always been gay. Remember in grade one, uh, I was what eight years old, and I had a crush on a guy called Robert. <laughs> I know that was a crush. I know what I felt for him was a crush now because you know I had a crush on a guy called Robert and for me I couldn't understand what's happening because guys around me are Going around kissing girls on the cheeks, you know, and I don't want to do that and I'm like I what I want to do is I want to go kiss that boy Robert. He was white I'm not gonna kiss that boy Robert Do you understand uh, but because I was young, I, I didn't understand what was happening. And I remember Robert then went and started flirting with my friend at that time called Mastompi. We used to call him Mastompi. Hey, one of those two. Oh, one of those two. Yeah. Her name was Skinny. Her name was Skinny. But we called her Mastompi. She was short, very naughty girl. Uh, so Robert would flirt with this girl and they would obviously stand in the tree and he would kiss her on the, on the cheek and I would be so jealous, I would be upset, I'm like why you, do you understand, but obviously I wouldn't tell her that, but that's how I would feel and I'm like okay, you know what, it's fine, and then I ignored that feeling, I'm like you know, this is wrong, I don't know why I'm feeling like this, let me ignore it and then grade three, it came again, I'm like okay, this is serious I still didn't understand what, what was happening to me. But obviously I was hanging around girls, I was moving a certain way, and I knew I wanna use uh, girls' toilets, not boys. So at that very young age, I was using girls' toilets and I was just always fight to do it. You know, I don't know how they let me, how they, <laughs> I don't know how they let me do it. I remember a guy stopped me at the mall. Uh, uh, there's a, there's a, perfume uh, bar that I always get fragrance scents from it's called 20 is it 20 I forgot something oak I'll attach them the fragrances are amazing uh, that guy saw me in the mall and he's like hey take me so and I'm like why is this guy calling me he were, they had just employed him so you know first time seeing him there I'm like okay who's this guy he's, he called me he's like you probably might not remember me but we were in the, we were in the same grade from grade one until uh, grade four, I think. And he's like, how do you still stay so confident? <laughs> how do you do it? He's like, the same confidence and uh, sassiness you had in primary school, you still have it now. How do you do it? You know, he's like, well, there's one thing that I remember, that I remember pretty well, is that you never wanted to use the guy's restrooms. You would always fight to use uh, girls uh, restrooms and they allowed you to do it for me it was like at such a young age how does this little boy have so much power over elders do you understand you stood your ground and you said this is what I'm gonna do and this is exactly what I'm gonna do and he's like I can tell right now that's still the same like you know behavior that's the same way you carry yourself and he's like it's beautiful I just wanted to say that you might not remember me but you're beautiful <laughs> so yeah from, our age, from grade 3 I was using the girls toilets and then yeah, but I still wouldn't understand what's happening to me, you know, but I knew I was different and I was okay with it, you know And then only great. I think only when I got to grade six uh, That's when I'm like, okay, I'm gay Because now I started seeing people around that look like me that you know Jeans that are a little bit feminine. I'm like, okay, I'm not weird You know, there's a few people around that look like me, you know, so this is okay, you know and then I only came out to my parents, I think, grade nine. I don't remember, but I was in high school and I was, I was a teenager now, a young teenager. I think I was 14 years old, yeah, 14 years old. I don't remember, I'm sorry, my memory is really bad. Um, that's when I came out to my parents and, you know, so this thing of people always saying, no, um, uh, you're not gay, you know, you were not born like that, you know, uh, it's all in your mind. It's, ugh, that's crazy. That's crazy, you know. So for me, I've always been gay and, you know, I've always tried to, you know, live my truth. And, you know, so yeah, <laughs> that text reminded me so much of my, <laughs> my, 
younger self so yeah so brave right <laughs> that was really beautiful her her name is sinazo hafola yeah i think she had yeah she was she has a big ass yeah it's her sinazo she's caught her yeah she was a friend i'm not sure from from which from from when but she was a friend before so i really really loved what she shared with me it made me smile so much so thank you Sinazo. guys i will blurb i will blurb i will blurb let me leave let me leave uh, i'm gonna pack quickly and then i'm uh, gonna head out bye guys <laughs> there's a reason why we said times why well, you guys so late <laughs> Why you guys so late? Are you guys? Hello, sexy Nasa. 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 Boy, don't get me wrong Sure, we're having fun But it don't mean that I'm in love I like you a lot But you gotta step up I'm through Trying to tell you what to do How to make me fall for you You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest <laughs> oh, this is so nice.
need you the most Wherever you go, I'll be there, you know Don't be a stranger, don't be a ghost Cause baby, I love you, yeah Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no Mexican food, this is so good. The ladies just took their time. Like we were supposed to get here uh, around 1 p.m. because we had planned to go have lunch somewhere. Sorry, we had planned to go have lunch somewhere else, and then come back home around 4 p.m. Get ready for the for the event, uh, the Bridgerton experience, and then head out at 6:30. Oh, Do you understand? So they they took forever. They took forever. They got to my place around 2 p.m. That's already late and it took us an hour and 30 minutes to get here and we still got lost so i was just like oh you know this is stressful come in baby what do you need Issa, come in so i'm like this is just honestly just so stressful you know and i'm one person if we plan something you gotta stick to it but hey clear ta joie so yeah we just had dinner it's so nice Issa ordered mexican food She's so brave. She didn't even ask us what to order. <laughs> but I'm glad I enjoyed it. It was amazing. First time actually eating Mexican food since I got here. Really good. 
it's tiny you can just this tiny into shop so yeah so we're gonna get ready for the Bridgerton experience I'm just quickly just gonna clean up here so that when we come back we don't have a mess because we definitely bring your boys over no other way so yeah bye guys Satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it all, cause I just don't want you Something in your eyes, the way you stare me that I like I wanna let you go, but it's like something holds me tight <laughs> so the girls forgot because Issa was in Mexico so she ordered stuff and had them delivered to Sulemetsi's house but now Sulemetsi brought everything but her shoes so now it's just so awkward so I had to rush here to come get shoes for her because obviously I know how you would feel if your outfit is planned and now you have to wear shoes that you didn't even want to wear you know she was gonna be awkward the entire night so I rushed here to try to find her something a little bit appropriate than what she has so that she's comfortable also and we all have fun <laughs> now nobody wants to iron my stuff how when I'm here I don't wear heels stressful I'm Lady Dambu. I'm the wise one. And I'm Simon, the Duke of Hastings. Now Daphne, Bridgerton. Go, go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
like we could do it all over again and over again. Can't you, can't you take me? Go back to that moment in time When you 
you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you with someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What is it, tequila? Similar. Similar tequila. Yeah. From Mexico? From Mexico. Stronger. It smells good though. Yeah, it's good. Do you dash? Do you, do you add anything to it? It's just like it comes from a plant uh -huh. from Mexico, uh -huh. Guadalajara. Uh -huh. And you just have to taste the flavors of it. Okay. So no mixing it, no nothing. No What's nothing. the alcohol? Oh wow, this smells really good. Yeah. It's strong though. Strong. What's that taste that I get at the end? Is this a choice? Yeah. Oh, 30%. Oh, <laughs> oh, taste oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, yeah? I can't drink it like that. <laughs>
jump to just walk through. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
tomorrow. <laughs> Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't How's your day been so far? Pretty good, Pretty good? that's great Thanks for asking mm -hmm. Is it a morning yeah. ship? What time do you get off? At 4 o'clock 4 o'clock? Okay. I hope your kids appreciate you for waking this early in the mornings Yeah, they do I'm sure they do It's great <laughs> You Thank you so much. Uh -huh. wow. Can we stop the clock and rewind? Go back to that moment in time. When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya. Begging on my knees just to show ya. You're the one I want and I love ya. No, 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 no lie. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. Someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me. So sorry for ending my video like this but i trust okay i trust you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and share my videos like i always say you'll never know who might like my content thank you so much see you on my next video kitty bye 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 kitty bye 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 guys